What's good, y'all? Uh, I'm about to go to sleep and shit, so just decided to watch something. Uh, y'all might as well watch it with me, bro. It's gonna be two hotel horror stories animated, and Wanty Entertainment made the video, so go check them out. But we gonna get right into it. Damn, it feels like. <laughs> This happened to me when I was 19, and my brother Robert was 21. He took me to Arizona, and we had to stop at a gas station. We bought our snacks, and when we got out of there, he said he heard someone yell at him. But we didn't really mind, so we started driving. We switched seats so that he can fall asleep. After four hours, Robert said that he had to relieve himself, so we stopped somewhere in a desert. He went away to do his job, and I was playing with my switch, until I heard the exact same yelling. I thought it was my brother, but it didn't sound like him. And when he came back, we heard a crying sound. We were both shocked, so we just drove away. When we got to the hotel in Tucson, Arizona, we went to a casino to play and eat. When we got back, there was a scratch in his truck. We were wondering who would do this, but since it was late, we just went to our rooms to sleep. The next day, my brother woke me up and said that it was time to go because we will be late to our next stop. I said okay, and we went our way. While driving, I also had to relieve myself, so I got out and was walking to a secluded area. When I got there, I saw a tall guy just staring at me. He had a big smile across his face. I ran and was scared. I hoped back inside the truck and I told him to drive. He was asking me what happened and I just told him about the man and we decided to go to another hotel to sleep. While sleeping, around 3 in the morning, I woke up and I saw something in the closet. I was scared to look, but I took out a bat from my back and walked up to the closet and heard screams inside of it. I woke my brother and we got our bags to leave. When we were halfway to our destination, I turned on the news and heard that there was an incident in the hotel that we were in. In the same room that we were in, a man and a woman had been murdered. We decided to go yeah, back, so we hell. did. My brother asked the man what had happened, and he said that a tall man went inside the room 207 by climbing with his bare hands, and three hours later, Two guys run out, and before he said anything else, I told him what happened to us. He said after we left, a couple went inside the same room, and 30 minutes later, there was a big splat of blood on the window. So that's why I called the cops, but the man was nowhere to be found. I told myself that it was the same man that I saw, and even now, this incident still gives me the creeps. He ugly as hell, I ain't gonna cap him. I'm about to get on his bean head ass elbow to red. God uh, damn, I fucked up. Fuck. Pearl Hotel was built in 1920. It belonged to a wealthy widowed countess, Sarah Ann. It is said the countess was extremely beautiful. Her late husband, the Count, was said to be old, very old, and there was a rumor rounding the streets stating that the Countess was a true vixen who had married the old Count for his money and, after a while, killed him, becoming the sole heir to all the riches. Anyway, Sarah Ann lived a lavish life surrounded by servants and maids, hosting important events and even attending the most extravagant balls. Eventually, her lifestyle caught up to her, and money began to go dangerously low. She then decided to transform her mansion into her hotel, and as luck may see it, she became more rich than before. 
her beauty and wealth attracted a lot of bachelors. Well, one of them managed to catch her attention. His name was David Lancelot. Very little is written about this man's background in historical journals. All we know is Sarah Ann fell head over heels in love with him, and within a very short time, they got married. Everything seemed to be going smoothly, but even barely a year had passed when David Lancelot was pronounced dead. The young countess became a widow yet again, but this time, the suspicions had mostly turned to true belief that the countess was a cold-blooded killer. Thorough investigations was carried out, and to her dismay, the court had its decision against her and found her guilty of murder. Officers had found out David Lancelot was a long-term con artist, and in fact was planning to absurd her wealth and escape with the help of his brother Jerome. Things, however, turned around when she learned about his plans and poisoned his food. Her most trusted maid, Kia, testified against her and stating that she mixed the poison into the food and told her not to tell anyone. Despite her wails and desperate cries, Sarah Ann, at the age of 24, was sentenced to life imprisonment. A few months later, the ownership of the hotel was handed over to the late Count's grandchildren. Exactly three years later, Sarah Ann escaped from prison. It is said that she was never found. Did she return to the hotel? Nobody knows, and she still remained missing till today, never to be seen or to be heard of again. This is Blankos, the free-to-play multiplayer game where you can unlock, earn, and sell. Well, the hotel business boomed for years to come and progressed to becoming one of the most desired holiday destinations. People flocked from far-off places to see this fine haven. What drew them to this place? Was it the fine services? The amazing decor? The varying cuisines? The wonderful views from their rooms? Or was it the history of the hotel? Was it the fact that a murder had taken place attracted the large number of guests? Were people rolling in torrents in expectation of paranormal activity? Was the curiosity of trying to find out whether the hotel is haunted or not bringing in so many guests? Well, we were going to know about the reason soon. In 1960, the nightmares began. This was the year when women who were guests at the hotel began to go missing, and they were eventually found dead. According to the statements of the police officials in the newspaper, who did not give the exact description of state of the bodies which were found, but simply stated that this was a work of the sickest mind, eight women went missing in a span of six months. None of these women had anything in common, April, right well, here. except for the fact that they had black like hair, light eyes, home, light no, skin, and a slender body. They had an uncanny resemblance to each other and almost appeared to be related to each other. The weirdest fact was that these were the exact description of Sarah Ann. An old portrait of her confirmed this fact. Who would be killing women resembling Sarah Ann 60 years after the incident? The hotel was ultimately shut down by the court as investigations continued, but every progress led to a dead end. Ultimately, the killer was never caught and the case was closed. The hotel also remained closed for months. The original owner sold it, and it was completely restructured. Every single piece of furniture, artwork, etc. were thrown out. Ten years later, in 1970, the hotel was reopened with a new name, Grand Gem Hotel. The new owners assured the public that the hotel had undergone a tremendous transformation. Anything that was present from the 1920s was gotten rid of, and they had priests who conducted a spiritual purification. The headlines of the newspaper indicated it was an exorcism, which is supposed to deem that the place is now safe from evil. The hotel operated normally for not even a month when strange occurrences began to take place. At first, there were complaints made by women claiming that their belongings went missing. Other times, they would state things such as fine clothes, jewelry, shoes, or flowers would appear in their bedrooms. They would also receive cards with messages on them. Afterwards, they stated they were being pursued by someone. They felt scared. During their stay, these women faced fatal accidents. They all had one thing in common, yes, their uncanny resemblance to Sarah Ann. Well, this time no one died yet, but the hotel had to compensate for their injuries as they all claimed they were physically assaulted by an unseen being. They were left with bruises and even bones. 
The biggest blow was yet to come. During their anniversary party, a fire broke out and everyone burnt to ashes. The firefighters tried very hard but couldn't save anyone. Afterwards, they tried to determine where the fire had started but couldn't determine. This time, the property was captured by the government and closed down. Five years later, it was turned into a primary school, but dangerous mishaps continued to happen throughout the years. Then, finally, in the year 2001, the whole building was torn down and the entire land was turned into an enormous graveyard. It is said when the school was inaugurated, which was around 1985 till 2001, there were reported cases of multiple accidents, five missing females, and two murder cases. Before the number of fatalities increased, it was best for the hotel to be torn down. From 2001 till today, there have been no such incidents. How could there be any cases? The place is now being accommodated by the dead. What do you think could have been behind all these mishaps? Some believed it was Sarah Ann herself. They said that she never left. She had been living in hiding within the walls of the hotel and became determined to punish the town people. But this theory seems highly illogical. The murders began happening 60 years after the actual incident. How could an aged woman do all this? Some say it was a fanatic serial killer who was obsessed with the history of the hotel and was living out their own sick fantasy. While others claimed that it was the ghost of David Lancelot in search of her to avenge his cruel death. That's gonna be all for this video. I'm gonna catch y'all.